Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the open t intervals where the graph uh, of these parametric equations here is concave up and concave down. So let's go ahead and work through it. So the second derivative is what's going to give us the concavity. So we basically have to compute the second derivative and then figure out where it's positive and where it's negative. So the first derivative, dy dx, is given by dy dt over dx dt. That's the first derivative. And then the second derivative uses the first derivative. So it's d squared y dx squared, and it's given by d dt of the first derivative, so d dt of dy dx, and then on the bottom, we have uh, dx dt. So uh, a little bit funky. It takes some getting used to. Um, I would suggest if you're, if you're learning this for a class, just like always write it down every time you do a problem. And then that's how you learn. That's how you learn all of the, all of the formulas. All right, good stuff. So let's go ahead and do it. So let's go ahead and work out uh, dy dt and dx dt uh, separately. Let me switch colors here. So dy dt is the derivative of y with respect to t. So that's just the power rule, so it'll be 6t. So 6t plus uh, 3t squared, that's going to be dy dt. And then dx dt uh, will just be 6t, just 6t, because the derivative of 7 is 0, and here we just get uh, 6t. Okay, let's go ahead and form um, dy dx. We can write that down now. So, so dy dx, whoops, dx, is dy dt over dx dt, so it'll be 6t plus 3t squared over 6t. So it's just dy dt over dx dt. Now, you'll notice that we have to find d dt of dy dx in the next step. So I don't want to use the quotient rule, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this. I'm going to write it as 6t over 6t plus 3t squared over 6t. So it's this one over 6t plus this one over 6t. 6t over 6t is 1. And then this is just going to give us plus, let's see, 3 over 6 is 1 half. t squared over t is t. Oh, beautiful. That's just awesome. So now we can find the top piece of the second derivative. So d dt of this, that's going to be the numerator of our second derivative, is just one half. <laughs> so nice. So it worked out really, really nice. So finally, the second derivative, and I'm going to write it again just so you see it, it's d dt of dy dx. Just, it's good to write the formula down. The more you write it, uh, the more you learn it. And then dx dt, just writing it again, just on purpose. And we know what the top piece is. We worked it out to one half. And then dx dt is right here. It's 60. So it's one half divided by 60, which is the same thing as one half times one over 60. Right? Division is multiplication by the reciprocals. This is one over 12t. And so basically, this will be positive whenever t is positive, because the top is always positive. So the whole thing here will be positive when the bottom is positive. And that's going to happen when t is positive. So this will be greater than 0 if t is positive. And that means that it will be concave up for t greater than 0. So an interval notation that would be on parentheses 0 to infinity. This is where it's concave up. If t is negative, you're going to get 1 over a negative number. So the whole thing is negative. So it'll be concave down. for t less than 0, so on negative infinity 0. So usually it's not too hard once you get here. It depends on the problem. Some, some of the problems are harder. Uh, this one was a lot easier uh, because you can just look at it. You know, Obviously, 1 over 12t will be positive when t is positive and negative when t is negative. So I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.